offset training is something that we're going to do more of uh, in my program because I've really learned the importance of uh, doing these moves for neuromuscular strength and control, but also it really does support that base of your spine, your, your uh, hips, uh, all of these muscles, if they're, if they're challenged through these small changes, can really make a benefit to your other strength training lifts. So if you don't have a barbell, don't sweat it. If you can't do a bicep curl yet with the barbell and the small added weight on one side, then you're just going to hold it in this position for as long as you can. Right? Getting up higher will uh, be able to, um, you'll be able to do that uh, as you get stronger. Okay, so my barbell, my hands are very... Uh, even on the barbell, as you can see, I've added a small plate. So this bar is 45 pounds, which makes this side of this exercise even with added weight, with no added weight to be a big challenge. So you're gonna make sure your uh, body is nice and stabilized, slight bend in the, knee, in the knee, rotate those shoulders back, abs are engaged, and you're going to come up. And down. The other thing you wanna make sure that you're not allowing your body to work onto that deloaded side. Make sure that you're constantly pushing pressure onto that loaded side to keep everything straight. Up, as you can see, it is a challenge. So if you just have to come up here and hold and come down slowly until you get it, don't stress. If you don't have this barbell set up, or you can only do a few of those with that challenge, then grab a bigger weight on that loaded side, smaller right here, and finish. Again, don't let your body move to that deloaded side. Up, staying in, under contraction, full range of motion, right? So don't come all the way up here. This is work. Make sure you lower before that work is released. Elbows don't move. 